Good morning. Uh, thank, thank you very much for being here on Saturday morning. So my talk is going to be about detecting glaucoma and also monitoring glaucoma. Dr. Lee made my job much, much easier. So as we learn, glaucoma is a kind of optic nerve disease that eye pressure plays a major role in this disease. And all that is done in detecting glaucoma and monitoring the glaucoma is lowering the eye pressure and trying to avoid any damage to the optic nerve which is located in the back part of the eye. And I'm gonna talk about the things that your physician will do in your examination and doing the test about the glaucoma. Uh, so generally we do eye examination. I'm just gonna talk about those examination that is related to glaucoma. Although your physician when is checking you for glaucoma is checking all other sections of the eye for any other diseases. But I'm just gonna focus on those examination that are needed for glaucoma patient. And the test that your physician will do for detecting and monitoring your glaucoma. In the examination part, there are three major things. Checking the eye pressure, checking the drainage system, and optic nerve examination. The normal eye pressure is between 10 to 21, and eye pressure is unique to each person. It means we have some patient that may have glaucoma while their eye pressure is below 21. On the other hand, we, have, we may have some patient that with the pressure of more than 21, they are not showing any sign of glaucoma. So the eye pressure is one factor. We need to look at other factors too. The drainage system is located in the front part of the eye. So this is the back part, this is the front part of the eye. So I'm just gonna take a closer look at this part. The drainage system is located at the area that the color part and the cornea meet. So this is called trabecular meshwork. If the trabecular meshwork is not covered by the color part or the iris, this is called open angle. But if the color part is covering the drain part, this is called closed angle. These are two major subtypes in glaucoma, open angle, closed angle. And to take a look at the drain part, a specific type of the lens is used that contact lens touches the eye, and your physician will numb the eye before putting the contact lens on the eye to be able to see the drainage system. For checking the optic nerve, another specific lens is used. That lens is not touching the eye. There's no numbing medication. No numbing medication is needed for this examination. In some patients, we may need to put some dilating drop to have a better look at the optic nerve. And this is the thing that your physician will see. So this is the optic nerve, and these are all veins in the back part of the eye, and the whole part is retina. The main focus of a glaucoma specialist is on optic nerve. And as Dr. Lee mentioned, the cop, which is the yellow spot at the center of the optic nerve, may enlarge in glaucoma patients. Let's talk about the test. What kind of the test do we do? We talked that, uh, we discussed that the glaucoma is a kind of optic nerve disease. So we have two major types to assess the function and the structure of the optic nerve. In some patient, we may see changes in the structure of the optic nerve before detecting any change in the function. And the main purpose of glaucoma treatment is saving the function of the optic nerve. For the structural test, we have two major type of the test. One of them is just regular photography. The second one is a computerized test, which is called 
OCT. And for checking the function of the optic nerve, we check the visual field test. We will discuss all of these. So the regular photography is just a routine pictures that we take from the back part of the eye. And in the follow-up examination, we compare the latest one with the previous one. And the first one is gonna be a baseline picture for the physician. The computerized picture or the OCT is a unique machine. It's different from just a regular photography. This machine measures the thickness of the fibers in the back part of the eye and has a database and compares the reading with the database. All of the information on the left side belongs to the right eye and on the right side belongs to the left eye. If the readings compared to the normal database are within normal limits, it's gonna be displayed in green color. But if they are abnormal, the readings are abnormal, they'll be displayed in red, which means, which means abnormal, or yellow, which means borderline. At the same time, we have some numbers here. These numbers also are important to us. For example, if you look at here, that's 100 in the right eye at the top part, but in the left eye is 91. There's almost 10 point difference between the right and the left eye at the top part. That's the reason it's called borderline in the left eye. The visual field test is for checking the function of the optic nerve. This is the machine that we use for that purpose. Actually, this machine measures the side or peripheral part of the vision. And the main purpose is determining the dimmest light that the patient can see. And your physician would be able to tell you about the stage of your disease based on the results of the visual field test. So this is the actual <coughs> test that we have with the machine. There is a central light that the patient needs to take a look at that all the time during the test. And the machine presents light with different intensities to the patient. And the purpose is detecting the dimmest light that the patient can see while checking the visual field test. If the page and the patient press a button when seeing the light. So if the patient does not see the light, the machine increases the brightness until the patient can see the light. As Dr. Lee mentioned, this is the normal visual field and each person has a blindest spot in the normal visual field. And in glaucoma patient, the peripheral part is lost and any part of the visual field or side vision that is lost, unfortunately, cannot be retrieved. There's a question, why do we need so many tests? Because detecting glaucoma, diagnosing glaucoma is not easy. We talk about the eye pressure, that in some patient, the eye pressure may be normal, but they may have glaucoma. So we need to have all of these tests to check the function of the optic nerve and see if the damage, if the finding that we have in the test is related to glaucoma or not. For monitoring the glaucoma, we are doing the same thing. We are checking the eye pressure, we are checking the optic nerve, and we do the same test and we look for any change in the normal photography, in the regular photography, any change in the OCT or any change in the visual field test. Generally, the visual field test needs to be checked two times or more a year, but in some patient, based on the nature of the disease, on the severity, on the course, 
your physician may need to check it more frequently. And for the OCT or the computerized picture, it's the same. It's usually checked twice a year. And we look for any change in the numbers that we have. As you can see here, the numbers are decreasing over time, and it's a warning sign that the glaucoma is getting worse. In some patients, we may see changes in the OCT, while we may not see any, any change in the visual field test. So we need to check the structure and function. We need to check both. In some patients, we may be able to detect early changes in the OCT, and months or years later, if the glaucoma is not treated appropriately, it may present itself in visual field test or the functional part of the test. This is another picture showing the worsening of the glaucoma over time. As you can see here, the color changes from green to yellow and then to red. So overall, we check the eye pressure, we check the drainage system, and we check the optic nerve. And all of those pictures that are taken, all of the tests that we are taking are focused on the optic nerve because the main purpose of glaucoma is protecting the optic nerve and preventing any further damage to the optic nerve. When the glaucoma is detected, you need to be seen one to three months, every one to three months. But later, when the pressure is stabilized and your pressure in a safe zone or is in a safe zone, you need to be seen less often. So it totally depends on the stage of the disease, on the type of the glaucoma. We may have a patient with glaucoma that needs to be seen only twice a year. On the other hand, we may have some other patient that may need to be seen four times, five times a year. So it depends on the stage of the disease, the level of the eye pressure, and the rate of the progression that we have. Because glaucoma is a progressive disease, and the changes may happen without any warning, you need to be seen by your physician. Sometimes the pressure that has been controlled for years on medication may drift up, may raise, and there's no symptoms related to that, unless the pressure is too high, like 50s, 60s. And at that point, your physician need to adjust your treatment. Uh, there are some machines that the patient can use for checking their own eye pressure at home that will gives a lot of information to the physician because some patient may have the highest eye pressure sometimes early in the morning at 5 a.m., at 9 p.m. And this machine seems to be a great one for checking the spikes in the eye pressure. This is an example of a patient who had really high fluctuation in eye pressure. And then after the surgery, the pressure in one eye has been stable without any specific fluctuation. But in the other eye, <clears throat> we can see the fluctuations. At the moment, for checking the visual field test, we have a big machine. But in the future, the patient may be able to check their own visual field with this virtual reality goggles. These are connected to the tablet or cell phones, and it's much, much easier than the visual field test, but they are not approved yet. But in the future, the patient may be able to use this machine for checking their visual field test. Thank you very much. Indicated when your pressures are stable, but yet you know that your visual field 